All right. Welcome back to SoFlo TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. Nobody getting dashed with today or anything. It's a feel-good one, but it's unearthing some facts. Now, I came across an article that said Kerry Washington, right? This huge mega star, Hollywood star, is actually a Jamaican. And I was kind of taken aback because I was like, man, then Jamaicans are like really powerful people. Who is who? in the world are actually either Jamaican or connected to Jamaican parents. Now, I have rules, and one of my rules is that in order for you to be considered Jamaican, enough for a news article headline to publish saying, the Jamaican actor, SoFlo TV, that means you are either born in Jamaica or your parents are from Jamaica, one or both, right? Now, if one of your parents are from Jamaica, I would say you are part Jamaican or you're of Jamaican background or heritage. But in Carrie Ann's story, it was a bit different. Kerry Washington's story, rather, it was a bit different. I had to go do my research because one of Jamaica's leading news media houses actually published the story. Funny thing is, when after I did my research, when I went back to go look at the story again on that Jamaica media site, they took the story down. So obviously they ran the story themselves and then they did their research as well. And they realized that she's actually probably not that Jamaican as you would think. And even the part where she is a little bit Jamaican is not so much Jamaican. Let me let me explain to you. Okay, so Carrie Ann Washington, all the accolades and everything that you can read of. So her actual name is Carrie Marissa Washington. Before I go any further, let me say she used to be one of my favorite black actresses. She used to be one of my favorite actresses, period, out of Hollywood. Until I realized that they started pairing her with to sleep with white men on screen then. And every time I saw her, she was sleeping with some white guy on screen, having sexual relations with some white man on screen. And I started to think to myself like, man, I remember Denzel Washington saying, there are a whole lot of uh, jobs out there, but you have to decide which ones you want to take and which ones you don't want to take. And the picture that you want to paint of yourself and the message you want to send across and the legacy you're trying to build in Hollywood. So you have to navigate those waters skillfully. So yes, he turns down a lot of work because of the way that it would portray himself uh, and or represent his people on a grander stage. And I was looking at the roles that Kerry was taking for a long while. And after seeing her on like the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh one, where she's in bed with another white guy, I said to myself, uh, this is a whole Halle Berry situation where Billy Bob Thornton, Halle Berry did not get a, uh, what the award called a, uh, that big award. I can't even remember the name of it right now until, uh, Hillbilly gave her some bakas in a movie. Now, if you understand what bakas mean, then you're a Jamaican. If you don't, then go ask a Jamaican. They'll tell you what bakas mean. And I was just turned off from her since then, and I actually really stopped watching Halle Berry movies. This ain't really about Halle Berry, though. This is more about Kerry Washington. So, Kerry Marissa Washington. I must tell you, though, that she is a married woman with children and a husband of years and years, and uh, educated, well put together brother that is from a traditional African family and all that other stuff. So kudos to her. And I mean, even if she was married to a white guy in real life, it wouldn't have been my place to say, oh, I don't like her because of that. I believe people find love wherever they find love. I was just not too happy with the way how she was being used in Hollywood. You know, she there, she, they could be more diverse in her, she had become the go-to girl for sleeping, black girl for sleeping with a white man. And I didn't like that. But anyways, so she was born, actually born in the Bronx, New York, right? So I was saying, uh, she born in the Bronx, New York. How in the hell is she considered Jamaican? And of course, all the movies were like Scandal and all other kind of movies she's been in. She's... uh. Golden Globe Awards for she, Golden Globe Award actress she is, her portrayal of Anita Hill in the HBO television film Confirmation, 
earned her another Primetime Emmy Award nomination. So all these nominations. So in film, Washington is known for her role as Della Bay what Robinson in Ray. Now, if you remember Ray, the portrayal of Ray Charles, that was in 2004 as Kay in The Last King of Scotland in 2006 as Alicia Masters in the live action Fantastic Four films in 2005 and 2007 and as Boom Hilda Von Schaft in the Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained alongside Jamie Foxx in 2012. Right, and she was Jamie Foxx's love interest, remember, and he, uh, his love of his life, and he had escaped the plantation, he wanted to go back and get her. That Go watch Django, it was very interesting. She also starred in the independent film Our Song in 2000, The Dead Girl in 2006, Mother and Child in 2009, Night Catches Us in 2010. Time Magazine included Washington in the Times 100 list of 2014. In 2018, Forbes named her as the eighth highest paid television actress. That was in 2018. Just a little background there. Some movies she has been in and so on and so forth. So here's her life now. She was born in the Bronx, New York, right? The daughter of Valerie, her mom, who is a professor and a educational consultant Highly educated woman, highly awarded, highly achieved woman, her mom. And Earl Washington, who is a real estate broker. Her father's family is of African American origin. No Jamaican there. Having migrated to New York City, to Brooklyn, from South Carolina. So she's from partly from the deep south of America, if you want to look at her background and heritage. Her mother's family is from Manhattan, is the way they put it. And Washington has said that her mother is from a mixed race. This is how they put it. Washington has said that her mother, now we're going to talk about the Jamaican part, is a mixed race background, but from Jamaica. Hmm. So, um... Is she Jamaican or not? She has said that her mother is a mixed race background, but she is from Jamaica. So she is partially English and Scottish and Native American. That is how she described her Jamaican part. Okay? Mom's is, mom is of mixed background, but she's from Jamaica. So she's actually part English and part Scottish and part Native American but also descended from enslaved Africans in the Caribbean. That is how it was described. Though her mom, she is also, through her mom, she is also the cousin of former U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell. And if you don't know who Colin Powell is, go look him up. He could have been the first black president of the United States of America before Barack Obama. They actually wanted him to be. So she actually comes from a lineage of high-ranking people. Mm, follow the dots. So there you have it. Now, the article that I saw where it says that she embraced her, Kerry Washington, the Jamaican actress, embraced her Jamaican heritage, and she left a statement saying how she is, I am so proud to be Jamaican. I am honored. I bow down to my heritage and my belonging. I think that's probably the reason why the Jamaican news article um, that ran that story actually pulled that story back. Because there's no way she could have said all that under a headline that says, Carrie Washington, the Jamaican actress. You know, or am I wrong? Is she entitled because her mom's... I'm still confused as to what she thinks her mom is. She's Jamaican, but she is Irish, Scottish, Native American, all this other stuff. Is it time for us to actually start saying everything that we're connected to instead of just saying that we're black? Or 
I'm, I don't know. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Regardless of what, though, she is, I would say, wildly successful in Hollywood. And she is highly regarded as one of the top actresses for leading roles and her diversity. So I take my hats off to her for that. I even more take my hats off to her for... Uh, Keeping a strong family together. She balances very well. I've looked at Carrie for the longest. And I had no idea she was in her 40s. I had no idea she had grown children. And small children. I had no idea she was married. She's a wife. Her husband juggles many hats. He used to play professional football. Now he is in Hollywood as a uh, actor. Not actor, sorry. Her husband's actually name is... Um, he has a Nigerian name, which is Namdi Asmunga, or A-S-O-M-U-G-H-A, however you want to pronounce that. And he is an American actor, producer, and former football cornerback. And he played college football for the University of California, Berkeley, and was drafted in the first round to the 2003 NFL draft by the Oakland Raiders. So it's not just playing college ball. He actually um, made it into Hollywood. I mean, made it into the NFL and essentially made it into Hollywood, you know, and she has children and all these things. And um, I'm thinking she is so secretive about her personal life, which is exactly the way it should be. It had people like me thinking other things about her which weren't so, you know. So kudos to her, man, for being able to guard her family, not not whore them out to the media, and to raise well-rounded children and keep a tight family unit while juggling a hectic, a he and I say hectic because she is in a whole lot of movies and TV series and shows and so kudos to her for being able to handle all that. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. It's so flow. I'm out. Peace.